Good morning guys, how's it going? It's uh, it's half five in the morning and look, walked out here to look at that. How incredible is this? So this is where we stayed yesterday. It's just so, so cool. Absolutely incredible. Now we're actually gonna be heading over there to climb up this mountain. Um, where those people are at the top because you get an incredible, incredible view. And yeah, this is our last like day on the boat. After going up to the top of the mountain, we're actually traveling back to Bajo, um, and then we're getting a flight to Bali. So this is the end of our boat trip, which is very, very sad. I had a good night's sleep last night, although just, if you ever go away, just put bloody sunscreen on, just put it on because I didn't and it's, re <laughs> it's very sore, very, very sore indeed. So um, be careful of the sun because it's, it can be very dangerous. I'm gonna get ready and then we're gonna go trekking. Back on the little boat we go. This is where I fall, you know, just as we end the trip, fall in the bloody water. <laughs> Look at that, that is just absolute bliss. In London, I don't usually get up till about half eight, nine. And on this trip, especially on the boat, we've woken up at half three and today we woke up at half five. But just like waking up and seeing this scenery is just incredible and you can literally just wake up. It's so cool. See you when you're older. <laughs> so yesterday, if you remember, the engine broke. So we've got this guy helping us out and he's bloody <laughs> rowing over there. Nothing will stop us. The boat just looks incredible. I love the boat. It's gonna sound like incredibly weird, but People here are really good at crouching. Like, I can't crouch to save my life, but people here, when they're resting, they just crouch. And I'm like, does that not hurt your knees? And for them, it's just like, oh my God, is that a hawk? Or is that an eagle? Is that an eagle? We have made it. Look at the water, it's so clear. I wanna go for a little dip. Follow the leader, 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 follow the leader. Hold on, I was the leader, and now I'm bloody behind. I'm behind everyone else. I'm slugging it. Oh, it's bloody knackering. Better go back to the gym. Wow, look at this. No other human being around. All right, we've still got to track all the way up there, though. We aren't even at the top yet, and look at that view. Damn. That is insane. Guys, we made it. Look at that. Just insane. That is what you call a bloody good view. <laughs> this is the peak. You just stand up here and look over at this incredible island. God, guys, you should see some of the shots we got. We've been using a drone and then also I've got this like really good steady cam. And I've been like doing loads of steady cam shots and like drone shots with incredible views like this. So I'm gonna be making like a sort of a compilation of like all the different shots from all the different islands we've been to and hopefully it will create like a beautiful video that I'm gonna put on Instagram. It's a video that's not really about me, like these vlogs kind of is more about my personality and like where I'm visiting and stuff, but I wanted to do a video solely like showing the beauty of the islands because it is absolutely phenomenal. Um, so I'll be creating that and hopefully you guys will enjoy it. It will come out when I'm back in the UK. We're going to a jellyfish point. Now you're probably thinking, Ollie, you're mental. You know, Reese has already got stung by one. Why are you gonna go see some more jellyfish? Well, they're actually stingless. Well, they say that. They, yeah, they say that. <laughs> yeah, they, you, they say they, that. Right, they're stingless, jump in. You're gonna jump, you're gonna get stung by 20. Um, and apparently they're not, why are they not sting, why are they stingless? Because of like, uh, no the jellyfish got isolated like 100 years, so he don't have no reason. There's no predators, so they just haven't developed to have a sting. They don't need to. Bye. Bye. I'll see ya. You can stay here. You stay here, we'll come back in, in uh, next year to collect you, right? <laughs> Down we go. All the way back. Oh, this sun is getting very, very warm. I've had to put some extra sun cream on so I don't get burnt again. And just look at my top. You know, 
They call me Sweaty Betty. Look at all this coral. Look at this. Wow, and then some shells as well. I don't think I've shown you guys the shower here. Um, this is the shower head and uh, this is the shower you get. So you have to fully just stand under here for about half an hour and just keep washing yourself. <laughs> what a way to start the day, you know. We've been on an island already and now we have an incredible breakfast. We've got some smoothies, we've got some mango, some watermelon. Oh, that's very nice. We are now at the jellyfish point. I think we're going to be going in the little boat over here and hopefully we're going to touch a jellyfish and not get stung. I'm a daring guy, all right? So this is where the jellyfish are. That was like the most insane experience ever. Like swimming with hundreds and hundreds of jellyfish that don't actually sting you. So it was great. I actually touched one very, very gently and uh, it didn't sting me, which was amazing. One thing that's really, really important is for us to protect the environment. And one thing I've noticed is there's hardly any litter at all on the beaches and anywhere we've been except for one place. And it's just incredible. It's so nice to just see clear beaches and just nature without us destroying it with littering. So if you're ever thinking about throwing something over the boat or whatever, just, just don't do it. Just keep it on the boat because it does destroy the environment and it looks horrible as well. And we gotta protect this planet because if we don't, it won't be around for bloody much longer because we keep flipping, messing it up. Guys, there was a dolphin. Where's it bloody got? There, look, 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 look. Oh my god! Wow! I don't know whether you guys caught that, but that was insane. We're coming into the dock. We've got to say goodbye to this incredible boat and the crew. The crew have been amazing as well. Like without them, this this trip wouldn't have been the same. They were so nice, so friendly, and just really, really lovely and just helpful. Cooked amazing food, knew all the best spots, and drove the boat very well. Oh, this is the worst part of the whole trip. Saying goodbye to the people that you've shared a lot of cool memories with. Oh, 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 the luggage. <laughs> oh God, we got to get off here now. Whoa, looking out. Oh, cheers, buddy. Oh, there we are. Thank you very much, man. It's amazing. Had such an incredible time. Cheers, man. Thank you, dude. <laughs> this is the main man. This is the main man. What's your Instagram again? At Go and follow him because he's got some incredible videos from Indonesia if you want to see that. Honestly, it's amazing. Thank you so much, dude. Thank you. I'm going to miss those guys. They're really, really good fun. It's a Komodo dragon. We come to the souvenir shop to pick up a souvenir for Mama. Here they have some local honey. Look at that. I actually didn't realize what it was until I asked. I don't know. It looks quite, <laughs> quite strange. We got some Komodo dragons. Reese is after some uh, some new clothes. What are we going for? Keep calm and already. visit Komodo. Right, got the passport. Right, let's go. Look at this thing. This, people, is Bali, and it's looking pretty incredible. Look at him, he's on the drinks already. <laughs> We've only just arrived at the, the hotel. This is my room for the next three days. We have the view of the swimming pool, which we can go out on. Look at this. Bloody hell. That's a long old pool. 
Look at that thing. We, we're going to Semenya, <laughs> wherever, that, wherever that bloody is. Wow, would you look at this place. Oh my god. It's incredible, you got the waves crashing over there, a swimming pool. What a cool table. We're taking off our shoes and going cross-legged. Oh, we've just sat down and this is so perfect and it's starting to rain. <laughs> this is such a nightmare. Bloody hell, look, look where we are. You know, this is so cool. I have gone for the Wagyu burger. Now I'm back on land, you know. You've got to hit it off with a good old burger. I always feel whenever I show like the menu of the food, <laughs> I always feel obliged to show the food. I just haven't, I'm sorry, I've eaten it. I've eaten it all without showing it, it was, it was so good. I'm just looking so red, but you know what? I don't care, because I've got a mojito. Oh, and it tastes gorgeous. Oh, look at these waves. They are big waves coming in. They are big waves. This is just bliss. Like, you got the tunes playing, you know, chilling over here. Right, we've had an incredible night. That was amazing. Had some gorgeous food and a couple of drinks as well. We're headed back to the hotel to get an, uh, well, not really an early night. It's more of a 12 a.m. night, but tomorrow we've got like a full day of water sports and activities. So I'm gonna end the vlog here because there's not much going on except for me getting in my hotel room and going to bed. Oh, it's yeah. dark. There we are. <laughs> right, so thank you ever so much guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed the vlog. If you did, give the video a thumbs up. The question of the day is, Karina, what is the question of the day? Would you rather spend a night on the beach? Wait, a night on the beach? Yeah. <laughs> a that's night that's on the beach? A Would you rather spend a night on the beach or a night on the boat? That's your question to decide. Leave your comments below and I'll see you tomorrow with a jam-packed, full, fun day of activities. Good night.